In this video, I'll teach you a move where you take your hands and then out of thin air, you can produce a card. Before I get into the explanation, I'll give you guys an update on the project. So it's still going strong, eight days to go. Uh, well, actually seven days to go when you're watching this. And uh, we just hit the $40,000 stretch goal, which is amazing. So I've just added a new stretch goal for $50,000. So at the $50,000 benchmark, I'm gonna commit to producing a Foundations of Card Magic ebook to go along with the DVD. Okay, so in this book, I'll cover the principles, the, the psychology, and the presentation of magic. Okay, I think video is perfect for teaching the techniques and the methods, but um, to discuss the theory of magic, I think it's ideal to explain that in written words. So if we hit that $50,000 benchmark, I'll be sending a copy of this ebook to all of the backers of the project. If you're already backing the project, then I've added a few add-ons that you can get. Okay, so if you've pledged $50 or more, then you're already receiving a package from me with free shipping. So now you can get a few extra add-ons or a few extra goodies to, to that package. So you can check the Kickstarter page for more details on the different things that I'm offering. And, uh, and yeah, thanks again to everyone who has supported this project. I really appreciate it. And I, I just can't wait to get it in your hands. So happy 2015 to everybody. I hope you all have an amazing year. And let's get into the explanation for this move. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a two-handed card production. Now, before you learn how to do this, you need to be familiar with the back palm, which I taught last week. So you need to be familiar with the back palm itself and the production, the reproduction of the card after the back palm. Okay, so this is uh, basically taking that one-handed card production and uh, making it a two-handed move which makes it easier and, in my opinion, it makes it more impressive, okay? I prefer to do it with two hands. The reason is because when you do it with one hand, you, you need to bring in this larger uh, motion to produce the card. But when you do it with uh, two hands, now you can kind of do this um, motion where you, you apparently show both hands empty and, uh, and then with very minimal amount of motion, you can just produce that card and it's really snappy, it just looks great, okay? so. First, get familiar with the back palm. Check out that video. Um, be able to get into back palm position. And then here's kind of the choreography of this. In, in the demonstration I did last week, I kind of, uh, I made it vanish and I kind of paused right there. Normally in a real time performance, when I normally do this, <clears throat> excuse me, when I normally do this, uh, I'll, I'll do the vanish, but then I won't just leave my hand stationary right there. What I'll do is I'll do the vanish and then soon afterwards, I'll bring my other hand in and kind of do this this kind of hand washing gesture where I kind of show that the card is gone. So I do this hand washing and then here's what I do next. This is, this is the, the move here. This is the choreography. You go like this. Okay. So this is my right hand. This is my left hand. I'm opening it up like this. So my left hand is above my right hand right now. So I'm kind of showing. So it's basically a display where you're showing that your hands are empty. So you go boom. And then from there, you close back up, so my thumbs remain in, in contact, my first fingers remain in contact, and I'm kind of just opening my hands up like this. I come back down, and then I open my hands like this. Okay, now if you do this with the right rhythm, the right speed, it almost looks like you're showing both sides of both hands. In reality, you're only showing both sides of your left hand, while the right hand remains like this the whole time. But because of this motion, it almost looks like you're showing you know, the back of the right hand or people may assume that you're showing everything, all right? So it's just a nice little touch. So I do the vanish, I bring my hand, do a hand washing, boom, boom, and then I'll do this, and then I do the production. Now the production, is, it's very similar to the one-handed production, but now it's nice because you have the cover of your left hand. So let me show you from this angle what's happening. So when I do the two-handed production, all I'm doing is I do this hand washing, I bring my right hand behind, or yeah, kind of behind my left hand a little bit, and then I start to fold my fingers in, and I do that sim same uh, kick out motion that I showed you in the one handed production. But now I don't need to bring in a larger motion or anything, I just snap it out like that. And I catch it in between my two hands. So it should look like the card is just shooting out from in between my hands. That's the illusion that I'm trying to create. So from here, boom, boom. Uh, let me do it at that actual speed, like this. And then to produce, 
dun, 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 and then boom. Okay, let me let me do a few more examples of that. Boom, boom. Okay, and it, it can be helpful if you bring in still bring in a little bit of larger motion. I mean, you don't have to keep your hands completely stationary. You kind of can, but um, I, I'll normally bring in a little bit of a larger motion still, kind of like where I go out and grab it like that. And that's just a really clean way to produce the card. And another nice thing you can do is after the production, you kind of open up your fingers a bit. That's kind of nice, right? It looks very fair. It looks like a very fair production. All right, so I hope you guys like that two-handed production. I'll do some more videos on the back palm and different things that you can do with the back palm in the future. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.